And if you look immediately to the left, you'll see trees. And if you look immediately to the left, you'll see trees. That's because you're in the woods. y'all doing today we're down here in the basement at the new house and we got all the stuff out of the basement of the old house moved over here we got all the stuff from the garage and all the stuff from the backyard so all we got left on the old house is what's upstairs you know our kitchen living room bedroom and office so that's a start but we're over here today we're gonna try to tackle this drain problem we got for the washer and dryer and let me show you what we got We got a sump pump in the floor. We got the water feeds. There's a 220 outlet for the dryer, which is the wrong type box for the dryer we have. So I have to put a new cable in the dryer to fit that plug. And there, the only 110 plug in for the washer is this extension cord that comes from down there plugged into another light like like this kind of thing. so we're gonna to have to rewire that and put a box in and there's no drain for the washer itself it it drains into this sump pump pit and that pumps out through this hose through this hole in the window where there's a piece of wood right out into the backyard so that's unacceptable we'll just have a big wet spot out there so what we're doing today is we're going to make a down, down spot that will fit on this wall and elbow over down into this pit for the washing machine to drain. And then this drain is from our kitchen sink and it goes over into our main drain down over there. And we're going to tee into this and then run this black pipe out of the sump pump into that so it'll come up the wall come over T into this from the top side down so it doesn't backflow and yeah that's what we're up to so I'm gonna work on this a little bit and I'll show you how the progress goes we what the ladders in the garage oh. tell them the story about what the biker said we had a oh we, we had a biker pull up in the driveway a little while ago, and I wasn't out there. I was in the house doing something different down here, looking at this. But tell them, tell them the story. Okay, they knocked on the door, and um, I opened it, and I says, "Hi, how are you? Um, good to meet you." And he says, "I've been looking at this place for ten years, trying to buy it." And he said, "Did you know that there was a guy shot in the side?" right in the living room, right there. Like, you know, I was gonna scare me and say, um, okay, I don't want this house no more. You wanna buy it from me? <laughs> I don't scare that easily. <laughs> Good for you. <laughs> All right, so apparently somebody got shot in our house or so the story goes. All right, thank you for sharing that, Pat. Oh, I think he's full baloney. Yeah, he might be. I didn't see him, I don't know. All right, we're gonna get to work. We'll be back. Okay, I've cut my hole in my line and I've already got the drain pipe constructed, glued together, put in place. I have to find a better way to anchor it to the wall because my concrete bit is not sinking into the concrete for me to put a wall anchor on it. Anyway, I'm going to glue the top part together, which we're using. PVC pipe cement. Let's see if I can get down here so you can see it. And purple primer, which is standard. Pat's going to hold the camera while I do that just so you can watch. For those of you who don't know how this works, okay. right, right down here to where you can see. See the action. First, a little primer. Around the outsides of everything that's going to get stuck together. 
to clean it. Are you seeing that? Mm -hmm. Good deal. And this is the T. That really needs it because I already had it put in place to make sure it has a mock-up fit. And then the cement goes in here and on here. And then you push it together and you hold it for a second while it bonds. It only takes a second because it will build up heat and push itself back apart. That's why you got to hold it with pressure on it. A little bit of that. Push that and hold it. And then I bought a threaded end to screw into this for that hose to fit on. And for that part, I'm just going to use some Teflon tape. And the easy rule of thumb is hold the part in your left hand and go over the top. You'll always wrap it the right way if you do that. A couple wraps and screw it together where it's good and snug. Bob's your uncle. You're all set. Now all I gotta do is get up there and glue and prime those and stick this in place. At a little bit of an angle so I can get the other hose to come back on and plug into it. And we'll be all set. So I'm going to do that. Push them together and hold them. Man, it's gonna be set just like that. It's gonna have to work. I hope I didn't screw up. It's bound. It's bounded. All right. So the next set step is gonna be to pull this black hose back into the house here, cut it off where it fits, and put a clamp on it. I'll do that and we'll get back to you. Okay, this, this tubing, corrugated tubing, has got these flat spots in it where it comes together at different areas. And I cut it right in between two of those just so I have a good place for the hose clamp to fit. And I won't have to worry about the corrugations because you see it's smooth inside there. That way the hose clamp will actually be able to do its job. It gave me a little bit more than I need as far as length, but that'll be all right. It'll still pump up and go out the tube. All right, we can see it looks a little cleaner there. Got that. I still don't have it anchored well to the wall. I'm gonna to have to get a better anchoring bit and kit because that drill bit just won't screw in. It'll go into the plaster part, but not into the actual concrete. So that's not working, but I uh, got the hose on. You can see up there, if I hold the camera right, with a clamp on it. It's a little bit longer than I wanted it to be, but it's to be all right. And I ran a little bit of water down in there 
And you may or may not be able to see, but there's a big, looks like five inch pipe coming out of the side of that little well. And I just ran some water down in there. I was gonna show you, I was gonna turn the pump on manually and show you that this is not leaking up here. But in the time it took me to turn the camera on, the level of the water receded. So I'm thinking that big black pipe there might drain off by itself somewhat too. Anyway, here, look. You might have saw it kick a little, but it's not leaking. That's the main point of me showing you this. In case you, for those naysayers, they're saying, well, that's not gonna work. I just want you to know, yes it is. Okay, so now I have to find a way to support this because this is just loose and wobbly and we don't want that falling over and getting bound up. And when I get that far, I'll probably share it with you. What else we got going down here? These boards where the wider pipes come down are very poorly secured to the house. And that's where my wall anchoring systems issue is coming back into play. I'm going to secure them to the wall and get them done right so they don't flop around. And then over here I need a new filter. I know it's poorly lit, but trust me there's a filter there and it looks very dirty. So yeah, that's going to be it for today. Believe me, there's a lot of stuff going on over here <laughs> or, or that needs to be going on over here. But little by little, you know, it's one of the deals. You just bought a new house. You got a long time to sort it all out. So, yeah. All right. Thanks for coming by and checking this out. I think we'll call this video, uh, what do you think? Patching in a sump pump. Sump pump fix, plumbing with a dog, I don't know, we'll figure something out. All right, I'll see you guys. Take care, thanks for coming by. Cheers. Oh, the people with the lakes on that's got the pit bull. Yeah, I guess so. So we got a package delivered to the house and it doesn't belong to us. It belongs to the lady that lives behind us. So we're going to go deliver it. Look at this. <laughs> that's not it. That's the other neighbors. <laughs> Alright, but I haven't been back up this road yet, the road that goes behind our house. So we're going to go up there we're going to take you with us. So here we go.
Here's our little creek. Go here, stick the camera out your window and show them. See, look at that. I washed my face in that. Ooh. <laughs> no, it's pretty. I like it. Yeah, yeah. Water. Yeah. a little ways back up here. And if you look immediately to the left, you'll see trees. And if you look immediately to the left, We'll see. Tree. That's because you're in the woods. Oh, this is a beautiful house. Ah. Beautiful place up here. Look at this. Snooping around at the neighbor's place. I don't even know where the front door would be. All right, I'm going to pause this long enough to go see about taking this package up to their porch. All right, so they came to the door. I gave her a package. And yes, they have a beautiful home. Yeah, it's just magnificent. Holy smokes. Look at all these barns. There's two, one, two. There's another one behind me. Jeepers. I almost would like to go back over there and look off in the valley there, oh. you know? Yeah. But we'll wait till we're invited. Or maybe sometime just out here romping. Mushroom, mushroom. Mushroom, mushroom. Could be. Anyway, there's a trip. You already saw the trip up the hillside. And yes, those are woods. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're taking off now. We'll talk to you guys later.